The United Nations today commemorates the 20th anniversary of Security Council resolutions 13 to 25 on women, peace and security. The UN Secretary General called for more efforts to achieve women's equal representation in the areas of peace and security. From the Gambia, the Chief of Defense Staff used the opportunity to pay homage to his fellow comrades in uniform. Details of that in this report. The Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Major General Yankuba Drame, joined the long queue of well visas to the men and women on global mission of peace for the sake of humanity. His speech came in commemoration of the 2020 International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers on the team Women in Peacekeeping, a Key to Peace. It is with distinct honor and this sense of privilege that I join the long queue of well wishes on this auspicious occasion marking the International Day of the United Nations Peacekeepers to acknowledge and commend the exceptional sacrifice, courage, perseverance, and selfless service of our great men and women in uniform, and equally to acknowledge the exceptional performance of our brothers and sisters out of uniform under the umbrella of the United Nations as they undertake a very noble and worthwhile mission in the cause of humanity. We lack the right word of expression to convey our appreciation for that exceptional sacrifices you guys continue to demonstrate on a day-to-day -day basis under difficult conditions in our collective pursuit for world peace. The United Nations chose to pay tribute to all the men and women who serve as military, police, or civilians in United Nations peacekeeping operations. The world's body commended their professionalism, dedication, and courage with a moment of silence for those who lost their lives in the cause of peace. The Gambia CDS noted that the work of men and women in the service is complicated because of the coronavirus global pandemic. Today, we're even more challenged given the circumstances in which we find ourselves, especially in the context of what we call the pandemic of unprecedented proportion. That is the COVID-19. It's making your job more difficult. In addition to your traditional role as peacekeepers, today you're confronted with another challenge. The General Assembly in its resolution 57-129 designated 29th May as the International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers. The day in 1948 marked the first United Nations peacekeeping mission which began operations in the Middle East. As this year marks the 20th anniversary of the adoption of United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 on Women, Peace and Security, the theme for peacekeepers is Women in Peacekeeping, a Key to Peace. Reporting for iAfrica News, I'm Lamin Sane.